Hello, my name's Jordan, and this is going to be like a Q&A video. It's just going to be me. Uh, me and Matt are going to be starting some videos later on in this week, and I'm apologising again for like the amount of videos that haven't been coming out. But it it's just hard, and and pe some people like quit at this point. But I just want to keep going with it. I just want to find a way around it. My own channel as well will have COD Ghosts and Battlefield on it, but it's hard to find the time to do everything and Podcrash is priority because we do get uh, monetized views from it, so it does help me out through university. Anyway, um, I have about eight questions here, so I'm going to go through them for this video. It's I, I'll throw a few tweets out earlier. If people want to get in touch with me, use Twitter. That's the best way. So then, how did you meet at Podcrash, Matt? So, me and Matt met each other through... Um, what's it called, like, let's say kindergarten or nursery, back when we were, like, three years old, our family, like, our, our parents both spoke to each other, and we, we got friendly from it, and we just started, like, going around the house and things like that, and then we went on holiday with them a few times to, like, camp in Wales and things like that, and we basically just got, like, a, I'd like to say, um, bring out the uh, tissues, <laughs> um, lifelong friends, uh, we started out this, but I'll, I'll continue that later, so, I met Matt through uh, school, basically, as anyone else does in their earlier prime years. So, Chloe Patrick asks, how do you come up with such amazing ideas for builds and stuff? E.g. cops and robbers. Brackets, the prisons are amazing. Well, first of all, thank you very much. <laughs> um, we came up with it through Gizzy, to be honest. Like He came to us with the idea of cops and robbers because it was a Halo 3 game, so I guess whoever made it on Halo 3 is the one that um, we should be thanking here. So, Gizzy sort of brought that back up from the Halo 3 days, and we just made it, and then we made it again, and continued it, and we do have a Cops and Robbers 4 coming out. It's a completely overhauled map, new routes, new ideas, everything. So, as soon as... I think it's going to be released around Christmas time, so I'm unsure when, but we're going to be building it and then release it then. So that's how. And as for other ideas, because it does say there, Matt thinks of the potential that can happen with Redstone. We link it in with something that's either already been built as in in a game. So, for example, let's just say COD Zombies, and then we implement that into Minecraft, how that could work. So that's how we come up with the ideas. Uh, what do your parents and family think of you doing YouTube videos, and would you ever do YouTube videos full-time? The parents of mine, my mum doesn't really um, care like in terms of getting involved and things. She thinks it's cool that I get monetized views. My dad, however, was the person who actually like signed our contract for Machinima. He was behind us when everyone else wouldn't do what, you know, like what, what the parents would do or anyone else wouldn't help us. He was like, you go for it and you do it. As for family, I've got an incredibly caring and understanding family in terms of this. I've got a cousin who has kids who play Minecraft and they're like, they watch you all the time. It's amazing. You've you've taught, taught my like kid loads and it's amazing what you're doing. And they find it like really interesting on how we can you know get this audience and things and and they think it's amazing and if this could be full-time it'd be amazing so that answers the next part would i do youtube videos full-time hell yes who doesn't want and i quote boogie here who doesn't want money for playing games in their own time to set it out as a job or to enjoy it and and, and have it like that who doesn't want to have that as their lifestyle it's, it's amazing for for me at the moment, though, our views, our everything is low, and I don't want a sob story. I'm going to friggin' work it out, so that's that. And I did get another question from Squirtle straight after. What are you studying in uni? Because I thought this was, you know, a fair play on a, on a um, comment. So uh, I'm studying events and leisure marketing, which mixes in everything from marketing in general to experiential marketing and, like, how to and the business side with like the the P's, the Ansoft matrix, um, marketing plans, and then there's the leisure on like what is an event, how to host an event, and then there's the social psychology side of like why do people choose that product over this one, mindset of people, and it's just the overall core product, you know, just like the whole thing. And I chose it because it was in the location I wanted to because of Savannah, and it was also the course I wanted to do with what I wanted to do in the future, which was marketing. I don't know where to go with that, 
but I was thinking before, I was like, duh, gaming, of course. So that's that. Do you still re remember your childhood comes, comes from Raina Corn Girl? And I would like to say yes. Uh, there are numerous amount of times that I can't remember, obviously, and it's such a broad question. So I can remember, like, you know, going to Wales one time and it was so hot and we didn't have shoes on because it was near the beach. And it was so hot that we had to sit on a wall because we couldn't walk so our feet were burning. My dad had to go back to wherever he was staying and get shoes and, you know, things like that. So I can remember a lot from my childhood. I did a fair share of things. Like, my parents always went out with me and my brother. So, it, it, yeah, I had a good childhood and I do remember it all. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, the Zed Phoebes asked, when, do you, when did you meet Savannah? Um... In person, I met Savannah on the 2nd of the 9th, 2012. Ah, he remembers. Um, that was because of, like, our background. Um, basically, I spoke to her the very first time, and this is also, quote me, a sad or, or, a, or a nice guy. The 23rd of the 5th, 2012 is the very first day she, like, messaged me. And this is because I met a friend on a ferry a few years early, uh, a few months earlier, like two months earlier. She got my number, and then randomly one day I got a text off Savannah. My number had gone around in their friend group because you know they thought, oh right, let's talk to this random guy. And I lived in Warrington, which is in between Manchester and Liverpool, in like the northwest of the UK, and she lives in Pool in the south of the UK. So there's a 300 mile gap between us. So we didn't meet and we just, we just you know, talked every single day and it, it was clear that we wanted to, you know, have a relationship from this. And um, we we planned it out, like, what were we going to do? But her mum obviously wouldn't let me come down. I was 17, she was 15. So there was two years, well, she was 14 at the time. But um, so her mum wouldn't let me come down because she didn't, like, you know, trust me and all that. So I sent her a letter and um she agreed like to let me come down but not to stay at her house for the very first time until she got to know me so i wasn't a murderer or anything like that you know so sav turned 15 then and i was still 17 and i um had planned to come down i was like where the hell am i gonna stay like you know it cost a shit ton enough for, it cost 50 pounds to go down on the freaking coach and I needed to stay somewhere my dad was like you go for it if i mean i never got this opportunity as a kid um, I'm going to give you like this money one time and see where it goes. So I'm just not going to let you lose it in case it does go somewhere. So he booked a um, a B and B round the corner, and I stayed there, and I went and saw her, and blah blah. And it's gone from there. So um, we're still together now. It's been like 14, 15 months, and uh, it's pretty impressive for us to have hold it, held it over the 300 miles. Now I'm literally 800 meters away from my house. So that's awesome. Next question. Um, what gave you the idea to make Cops and Robbers? Now, I did already answer this one. I don't remember, like, the order in which I, like, screenshot these, so I'm, I apologise. I did it throughout the day. So, basically, just re recap earlier on, uh, we got the idea from Gizzy, who got it from Halo 3, and we'd played on Halo 3, so we were aware of it, but we brought it to Minecraft, and that was amazing. So, I think this is the last question now, which is, what made you form Podcrash? Now, we've explained this millions of times, but this is going to be like the end of the video because uh, everyone who doesn't know would like to know. And do you remember how like your dad always says the same story? And you're like, Dad, I've heard this thousands of times. This is the one that's going to be imprinted in your head. So if someone goes, how did Podcrash get formed? You guys know. So basically, we, we've we always tried to do YouTube from Halo 3. We did Machinimas, but they went crap. I had my own channel. I recorded the screen with a friggin' camera. Uh, we we stopped because we didn't go through puberty at that point, so our voices were really high, and we were like, "Nah, we can't do this." And we were really immature; like we thought things that we said were funny, but thinking back then, just not. And we didn't have the equipment, so when it came to like 2011, we just started. We just about to finish school, and we thought, "Let's start a podcast," but we needed the name at the time, and uh, the way we came up with the name was, we were going to do like. Um, gaming information, gaming news, um, podcasts, and we needed a name that would fit the podcast theme. And most people like Yogg's Cast, they've got the cast at the end, podcast. So we wanted to take the pod from podcast, and then we needed something that was 
close, catchy, and sort of like rolled off the tongue. We were just thinking, and it just hit us, pod crash. And we put it together, and we started the channel, and we started on Minecraft instead of um, the thing that we decided to start with. So that's how we came up with pod crash. Um, and those are all the questions for today. So if you want to um, give me some more questions, then in the YouTube comments below or on Twitter, I'll look at both of them. I'll make either like a QA and a um, discussion or I'll just answer you individually. But thanks so much for watching, guys. And I apologize once more for the uh, the lack of videos and everything like that. The lack of the maybe the quality as well. It's been really hard to like to to find like the time to do it alone as well especially with the uni and everything and my social life and then to to find either people or find content to create and do it on that's not the same old boring hunger games and stuff like that so i apologize but it will hopefully pick up soon i spoke with matt about it and we should be going from here so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video